we're doing a gin guide. Uh, Jin's one of my favorite characters. He's been since I played Tekken 5. I played Tekken 5 before I played Tekken 4. So he's, he's the only Mishima that I like to use. For me, he's a good Mishima anti hero. But I think he's got more good in him. Bad. I think he's double Jin. Um, doesn't set out to do bad things, just like some of the things that does as consequences. So, yo, well, we have to think for him, not in a homosexual way. Um, yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna break down some of the changes from Tag 2, maybe to the robot, some of the improvement, like the purpose and stuff. I'm not going to list all of them because there's so much, but uh, I'm going to name quite a few of them. I'm going to talk about his punishes and his tactics. So, yeah, let's get into it. So, some of the changes that he's, he, he has loads. There's quite a few. So, he's got. He's got. Um, from Tag 2. Can right, right, we talk about his new moves first? Or is yeah, let's talk about his new moves first. Alright, obviously you guys know he's got his rage on. He's um, got, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna start with this first. That's the one. So it's a pro animation. One of my favorite enders. Doesn't do that much damage at the end, but uh, it's a good move nevertheless. It's a high and it's a power crush. So, yeah. Um, he's, got, he's got Zen 3. Move. Cracking move. Uh, e minus nine. Oh, no, it's it's uh, yep, it's minus nine. So it's minus nine. So he's safe. Just, just about. Cracks. So that is Zen free, and Zen is one of his stances. If you guys don't know, Zen to do Zen is uh, down one plus. Down one plus two. So some move allow you to go into Zen as well. So manual Zen is down one plus. Two. Another stance that he has is mental awareness, which is back one. You know, they're both pretty much the same thing, to be honest. Uh, but you get the same moves coming out. Got that. Got that. So it's the same thing, more or less. It's just like the stance is different. Yeah. Um, uh, as a new move, I think that's it. That, that, they haven't given him many. They've, they've given him a few changes to his old moves, but not actually. Yeah. Uh, all right. So forgive me if I missed out a few, but he hasn't actually got me. He's got a lot of changes. So let's talk about those. Some of the changes that he's got is, you know, uh, you know, uh, back uh, of one, one three. You can now go into Zen. The way you go into Zen is that it's one of the moves that you can try. It's got quite a few. I'll show you a few. So you got one three, hold forward, go into Zen, or hold back go to evade moves. Um, kind of weird moves, and maybe even parry if you want. He's got that. He's got uh, back three, forward, forward. He's got um, he's got forward four, forward, forward. He's got uh, back two, three, back sorry, back forward two three, forward, forward. Um, what's yeah, he's got he's got quite a few of them. Um, the, the, those are the four that can come in my head that come in my head right now. Those are the four that I'm used to using. I've got quite a few others up. But those are like that the main ones. When you want to try to like combo and stuff. Like <coughs> Sorry if you guys can't hear me properly. Um yeah. 
So he's got that. He's got some new. He's got moves. He's got one or two moves that he can now transition to them. He's got um. Um. Uh, so the input for back this, sorry. Two. input for back back one plus two. two. This this was kind of a stun thing, like you, you, you time it with like your opponent's attack, cuts out their moves, like it just stops what they're doing. But the thing is, two. goes into power charge. So remember, with power charge, you can't block. Kind of dangerous. But the thing is, the input for this has to change. Instead of back one plus two, is now down back one. The thing is they haven't put anything for back one plus two because mental awareness which is back one okay whatever um uh, oh yeah changes you know we've got hop kick it's hop kick launch is normal it's like any, any generic hop kick or it would just Hit the nose, then they'll fall down. But you can still juggle from it anyway. But it's weird. And you can just launch like this on counter. It's games, but now it's all right. It's a good change. I think everyone has used a generic hop kick. So that's good. Um, ah. Head. Uh, oh, yeah. It's got just frame electric with God Fist, which launches. Well, it puts you in a tailspin uh, state, you know. So it doesn't, it's not a full launcher, but it's a, it's a launcher from a, it's a tailspin launcher. What it does, and you might not get as much of a full damage as you could do if you get, get a normal launcher, but you can still do tons of damage to compensate. So you can, you know, you can do loads of things after. And I'm going to talk about just frames in a sec. Um, so yeah, Jin is one of those characters that can wave dash. Wave dash. Input forward, neutral, down forward. That's how you wave dash. Um, but it's easier on stick. I'm sure you must have been know it's easier on stick than it is on tag. So. Wave dash is used. Wave dash. When people say wave dash, they're usually referring most machinimas. Machinimas, mostly machinimas do wave dashing. Other characters have like a wave dashing kind of thing as well, like Bob, uh, Raven a bit, Master Raven a bit. Um, Moves that do that. I'm gonna come in your face like that. That sounded wrong. Um, basically, to create pressure. That's what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's what Wave Dash is. And it's used for pressure to like, scare people. That, oh, what move is gonna come out? Because they've got options. Wave Dash. Uh, maybe I should talk about Wave Dash though. So, Jin can Wave Dash, okay? Now, Wave Dash, which is forward, you press forward neutral. Uh, down, down, forward. Oh, it's a uh, but. Don't, don't let the neutral thing scare you. Basically, if if you, in Street Fighter, it's the same way as doing like a show you can move. Basically, except that you've got other buttons, but other limbs. To put. So show you can in the forward, down, forward. Uh, sorry, forward, put down, quarter forward, triangle or square to show you can. This is the same thing. Literally means show you can. Just that. Um, when, you, when it comes to just frame version, your input needs to be right. So you need to input, for example, to, to do this, to do that, you need to input the triangle at the same time as you press it down forward. So down forward, so you go forward, down, down forward, you need to input at the same time. If you do it like a split second late, you, you'll get the normal version, which doesn't launch. The normal version does not launch. So in this, you really want the just frame version. Really wanted the just frame version. So yeah, Jin is the only machine that I use because uh, Kazuya and uh, yeah, Ihachi are bad characters. Turns out Ihachi isn't as bad, but he's still a douchebag. <laughs> so yeah, um, let's talk about punishes. Uh, no, shout no. Let me let me talk about wave finish about wave dashing. So from 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 wave dash, he's got a few options. He's got he's got wait uh. No, let, let me start from the basics. It's got one, two. I'm not, I'm not going to do the, the just frame version yet. Three. So we wave dash three, literally. 
Wave dash four. Okay, so those are the options. He also has a wave dash. Yeah, so those are the four options, those are the four main options you've got for Wave Dash. But you know, at Wave Dash you can cancel some, some of the Wave Dashes. The wave Dash, if you pull forward to three, we struggle. Just be, uh, you know, that's what pressure does. So when people, when you go into Wave Dash, people are mostly scared of the low. Struggles, you get a full combo now. So that's what that's what we force to put it up, just like any other machine. But Hell Sweep. That's this is his version of the Hell Sweep, which, which, which he gets a full launcher from. So he he benefits more from it. But his one is is less subtle than you know Kazuya because his one is kind of slow. Kazuya's one is instant, like Kazuya and he has one. Right. Let's see the leg. So you got like the yeah. Out of that, um, yeah. So you know. For the mix-ups, you want to be doing forward, forward, three. This launches on counter, um, or forward, forward, four, which forces crouch. I think it's plus one or plus two on block. So even if because your blocks it, your blocks it, you're on plus. plus Not huge, but something. Um, next, uh, yeah, let's talk about punishes. Hope you get out of the way. For punishes for ten frames, uh, Jin has one of the best ten frame punishes. It's got a uh, dot two four, which wall splats and gives a combo. I don't know. It's one of the most damaging wall, um, uh, ten frame punishes in, in the game. I don't think it's the most damaging. I think Giga's one is up there. A few others, along with maybe D or something. But yeah, Jin's he's pretty decent. I mean, most most characters get like anywhere between like twenty three to like twenty six damage. But Jin gets 29, so that's really good. All you can do is one, uh, one, two. Uh, you, you can also do one, three, or one, three forward for mix-ups. So you can go one, three. Um, battery's gonna die. Okay. Doing 13 minutes so far. Good. Good. Want to speak quick? Oh yeah. For 11 frame, I don't think Jin has much of an 11 frame Punisher. So I think for 11 frames, you know, 10 frames is still really good. Look at that. The range is okay. I think I think this is the maximum range. Something like here. Yeah. The range is alright. Alright. Um, for 12 frames, uh, Jin has. He has a. That one plus two. Now keep in mind this is minus fourteen. So a few characters can actually launch on block. So you must know your punishes. So for minus twelve frames, it's got one uh one plus two. And uh he's got he also has he also has a three plus four and uh you know and he's got four three for range. That range for three. Four for 13 frames, uh, he's got four, which, which is a tracking move. The high, it stuns on counter. Or juggle, so let me just do that again. Uh, so you need, to, you, need, you need to kind of time it because of the, of the, of the, of the, just of the way he puts his leg down, it's kind of slow. Yeah, so you need to time it. Um, he also has a down forward. Okay, down forward, one four. It doesn't knock down, so that's another change. It doesn't knock down like he did in Tag 2, but nevertheless, it's still wall splats. He, he also has a mid mix up. It's a, well, it's a mid high, so you can get launched for it. Okay, so it's still good. It just doesn't come on the floor like he did. Right, okay. Next, what does Jin have? Well, 14 frames, Jin has forward. 14 frames, Jin, Jin has forward 1 plus 2. The range on this is pretty good too. It's got really good because it stretches out his arms. So 
And it does like a little step before doing it, so it's really good. It's a high high. But yeah. Uh, another 14 frame has a down four three. That's that's a uh, that's minus 16, so you can get launched for it. 15 frames. Jin has a. This is one of Jin's main launchers. The range is all right. Pretty good range. They're with you in front of your face. This is the movie one. Um, but it's really bad on lock. It's minus 19. Remember, guys, anything above minus. My, I'll say any, any anything above minus 14, you can get launched for the minus 15. If you're minus 15 or plus, you're really bad. Some characters can launch minus 15, so for minus 14 on this, it's launch punishable by most characters. So, yeah, anything under minus 10 is safe. So minus 9, minus 8, safe. Anything above minus 9 is unsafe. So minus 10 onwards can be punished. So, and this is minus 16, so you can like, most characters can launch that. Almost every character can launch 16. Okay, so, and then, uh, so yeah, you got down 3 plus 4 as a launch off or minus. If you, if you block and move, that's minus 15. That's what you want to be doing. Um, or if they're with in front of you, well, that's what you want. Or if you're quick enough, you can use just frame. Just frame that. If you're quick um, Got down 3-3. Free, free. Down 3-3 free, free as well. And it's not that great. No, and, it, and it's punishable on block too. So. Um, we got back. Back 2-1. Got back. Uh, back forward. Back forward. 2-1. Uh, for, for 16 frames, he, he's got down back 2. Down back 2-2. Two, two. For, for, which is good for range. So if anything, like karate, it's a karate chop. That's what I call it. <laughs> uh, down back two three, which is another change that he's got because in in, in previous game it used to launch, used to be a used to be a mid mid same thing, but the, the, the animation of the of the you know the spike, the, it's the spiking move, okay, and. Uh, it's changed because it used to launch. This used to launch, but now it doesn't. It's all right. I mean, the floor breaks, all of that good stuff. So it's all right. It's not a huge loss, but it is a nerf in my eyes because it used to launch. And counter too. So yeah, all right. And uh, you got forward four. Come on, going for mix ups as well. This has good range. Really good range. Though. Yeah, and it and it launches on counter. Oh. So yeah. Um. So yeah. Let's talk about his homing moves. So yeah, Jin has about six or seven, I believe. I think he's got six. So, um, he's got, he's got. Uh, no, no, no. Jin hasn't got six or seven moves. Jin, Jin, no, 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 no. no. Those are like tail spin moves. Let's talk about his tail spin moves first. The tail spin, Jin has. So Jin has four. Normal tail spin. He's got a. Uh, uh, he's got two four. Got two four. He's got uh, down forward. Down forward one four. He has a one two four, and he has a down back three. This is situational. This is situational. So if you manage to catch him in the air, that's it. You're not you're not, you're not really going to use it. Oh yeah, you can. You can. You can. You can. You can. No one normally does that though. <laughs> yes, I might start doing it. <laughs> but yeah, he's got down back three. And he's got uh, his new one, which is uh, this. Okay? And uh, yeah, that, that's the transitional moves one. So you go something like. Uh, transition into it. So yeah. Those are his six tailspin moves. One. Homing attacks. 
Jin has a few. Jin has main one is four. Main one. It's got a transitional one. That. Uh, those are the two I can think of actually. Those are the two I only use. That's the way I know yet. Uh, move. Roundhouse kick, yep, got it. Look at me going into. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm rising. I said, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Same thing, the same, same animation as the other one. Always had that. So, Jin is one of those people that has a Val Rising tracking move. So, yeah. He's got three main ones. So, he's got that. That. And. As far as I know. He's got ones from. He's got pretty much the same thing. From, the same thing as. Yeah, so he's got three or four. So, those are the main ones. So, uh, tactics with Jin. I want to I wanna keep this quick. So, tactics with Jin is. You want to add pressure to your opponent. You need to wave dash. That's the way I do it. I mean, I don't I don't use wave dash as much as I should because I, I play Jin very basic. I don't I don't usually wave dash a lot. But like you know things like this, I'll do his top ten moves afterwards. But I want to play top ten things like this. so you want to wave dash your opponent to face you know, get them to you want to get them to duck. You want to get them to duck. You, you want to get them to duck. You know. So you can, you know, that. or this, this, you know. So, yeah, so, his stance is like, yeah, like I said, he's got, he's got Zen, that, he's got mental awareness, which is, they're both like the same thing, like I said, it's the same thing out too. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is oh. so he speaks for both of them more or less. So he, I, I'm I'm just do the mental awareness, which is manually down one plus two. So from that he's got one two, but one that's minus uh, that's minus fourteen I believe. That's minus fourteen. Uh, that he's got step two. 14 as well, but it's an evasive move because you get a bit of a side step from it. Got a tracking move from that, keep them at bay. Uh, sweep. Ah, he used to give a bound, like two, but since there's no bound in this, it's good at the wall if there's a full uh, floor break. But you still get your that, so you can full break on it, but you, know, you don't really get much, too much guarantee. Kind of hard. You can kind of do it, but kind of. there are a few things guaranteed at the wall, but it's kind of nerfed because there's no bound. But yeah. Um got a uh, got his fly kit. Not as good as rules. Uh, it is, hasn't got that much range. Uh but it is plus eight on block. So it's really, really, really good on block. It's a high, but the range isn't high. Really good on block for mix ups. He's on plus eight. That is really good. Um, got a um, launcher. So, and this has a high crush. I remember high crush is that it's a, it's, it means that if an opponent does like a high move at a certain timing, then he'll miss you because he kind of ducks. Kind of ducks. Uh, does the two punches. So if the opponent does like a high move, it's likely to miss you. Really good, uh, and it's fairly safe because it's got pushback. It's minus thirteen. That's why I say fairly because uh, a certain range, some some characters can't punish it. So yeah, it's, 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 it's a good launcher to throw out, in my opinion. You know, you think the might come in quickly. So it's a good launcher. Uh, it's also a decent wall carrier. Forget that. Forget that. Forget that. Forget that. Forget that. I'm, I'm I'm thinking tag two. I'm thinking tag two. <laughs> He used to push them away. Forget it, forget it, forget it. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. So, talk, talk, talking back again with, with his electric wind hook fist. Yeah? You know, there are no more machine moves because you actually have electric wind god fist. He's got hook fist. And 
they're both they're both pretty much the idea is the same the ideas are, are the same thing you know you got like this that's the electric version that's not really different from the normal version like the normal version you know, uh, it's minus it's minus 12 on block both of them you, you, you don't get no advantage you manage the, the just frame input just frames means that you just timed it right you didn't done it perfectly you know? a lot of characters have these just frames thing where where you time everything perfectly you know like harangue Lucky Chloe has like a dot a dot dance thing where we should time some of the, uh, some of the rhythms. I don't want to use Lucky Chloe, but I know she's got some of the stuff. Uh, you know, I think Brian has like a just frame thing as well. Quite a few characters have like a just frame thing. A pull from Demolition Man has a just frame. Thing. It's like perfect timing. Usually, there's something that you know. So other characters, the way they show it is that they show blue spots. That's how you know that you the perfect timing was perfect. Machimas. You get you get the electric, you get the electric. So and then they'll and you even hear the yeah or go there or oh yeah oh yeah like with Kazuya with the Kazuya uh, and yeah uh, I had you so with Jin he goes yeah but, <laughs> uh, but yeah if you get the just frame for uh, for forward uh, down down forward you know and the perfect just frame so. This, that is um, that is plus five on block, so you're on plus five. So you wanted to just frame. Thing. You can do it twice if you want. Oh. Yeah. Oh boy, this is shocking. Uh, yeah, you can do it twice. Don't know why it's not coming up. There you go. You can do it twice. Yeah, yeah. To create a uh, pressure because you're on plus. But man, keep in mind it's a high, so you can get duck and launch for it. Um, I think that's it. And then you know you got like that's the other one, the low, with the tracking mid, the defending the mass side step. You got moves like uh, one, two, three, you know, which forces crouch. I think with that he's on plus one. Mm, but they can sidestep with the last move because there's a, there's a slight bit delay. But he, he's got the higher version to compensate as well. This kind of tracks a bit. So I'm gonna talk about this thing. I'm just close it there. So thank you for watching, guys. Those are the main tips about the game. So I'm gonna talk about his um, you know, his uh, top ten moves. My top ten moves. Next video. Uh, about this costume, this is a legacy costume for those for that people who pre-ordered. But um, I'm kind of bummed that you can't, you can't, you know, separate. Because I, I, I love those gloves on Tekken 4 and Tekken 5. Uh, I can't, I can't seem to get the costume because I wanted to put the gloves with the karate costume, karate trousers. But you can't do that. You can only change the color. So it's kind of bummed. Yeah. Thanks for watching guys and uh, see you in my next one.